What's up gamers? This is NGG here with another reaction video to the Indie World Presents Well, it's just called Indie World <laughs> uh, for 14 2021 um, This took place at 12 p.m. EST Okay, let's get started Okay, oops Okay, same note as always due to COVID the release dates might change I like how the indies are on the little joy cons. Hello everyone. Welcome to Indie World. My okay. name's Ted. And I'm Elise. And we're here to check out a fresh selection of indie games coming to the Nintendo. Didn't get the hiccups, so sorry. There are lots of great games out there, and we're here to help you find your next favorites. So let's get started. Yes, let's get started. I love indies. I'm okay. I met this girl, this boy, a loser, at the diner, at the gas station, in the mountains. Huh? They were hitchhiking, driving. They were escaping to the border. What Looking the for hell? Someone called Zoe, John, Jared, Sonia. I'm running from the police. I'm running from some bad guys. They helped me. Played games with me. They stole my money. And they made me realize that I have to come back home. I have to make my own way. To help the brigades. What is Boy, this? Road 13, Road 42, Road 67, Road It's like a story driven game, it looks like you get to pick. Hey, ici Didix Art, studio indé du sud de la France. Hey, hey um, we're happy to announce that our new game will be. Whoops! Which is not a game inspired by road movies in the 90s. Start from anywhere. I'm very happy where it took it. They're speaking too fast for me to read this. Car votre chemin vous appartient. On espère que cette première aperçu de Road 96 vous plaira. Okay. I'm excited to see where these roads lead in this procedural story-driven game from Digix Art. Take on the roles of different teenagers and hit the open road for a path to freedom. On this perilous trip, you'll meet characters from all walks of life and learn their intertwining stories. Some folks may help you out, others might impede your journey. With thousands of potential paths to take, the decisions you make, both big and small, I like that. It sounds like it's a game you can play more than once. Or call a taxi. Happy taxi. In the end, all roads have to lead somewhere. You're not lying, are you? There are many roads. Which one will you take? Road 96 like drives it. onto Nintendo Switch later this year. And they didn't give it the release date. They're like, I go by Aerial Night Online. I'm the creator and developer of Aerial Nights Never Yield, a narrative runner that captures the spirit of classic games in the genre, but with a few new features and a lot of style. I created this game in Detroit to make space for myself in the game industry, which previously refused to make space for me. And with the help of some of my amazing friends, there you go. Pay it your own way. I'm proud to announce that Aerial Knights Never Yield will be coming to Nintendo Switch, which I means hope it's good. you can free run your way to victory to the beautiful dope soundtrack at home or on the go. Please enjoy this look at Aerial Knights Never Yield. Oh, I can tell this music is going to get me copyright stricken. I'm going to have to mute this. I like it though. I'm like, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be honest. This is, it's, a, it's a runner game that I usually don't play runners. I like the music though. I'm like, yeah, I'm jamming. Yeah, I only have like one or two runners on my system and I never play them. Oops, my face was say, covering the way. This definitely isn't your typical runner. A 3D side scroller with parkour action set in a futuristic Tokyo style Detroit? Sign me up. Run, jump, slide, 
and dash through the city as the protagonist Wally to save what's left of the future. And you'll no doubt be head bopping to the amazing soundtrack by Detroit I was. artist Daniel Wilson with vocals from artists around the world. Aerial Knights Never Yield slides onto Nintendo Switch May 19th. Oh, that's cool. That's soon. And a demo. Whoop, whoop. I'll try it out. You never know. Annapurna Interactive, publisher of Florence and What Remains of Edith Finch, have a couple more artistic gems headed to Nintendo Switch. Let's take a look. I know player one loved Florence, or at least played it. Or me. We have to face the facts here. We are ever going to be the same again. Into Tango Stays. Whoa! I bent over backwards trying to keep this family together, but what can I do with this? This is mental! Dad! Oof! You can doing anything. This is the next frontier. Now show them what you're made of. I like the art direction, I'm not gonna lie. How do you know what to keep and what to get rid of? You don't. There's some things that I can't let go. Chew me both. They transport me to the past, to distant memories and dreams that cascade into one another. Before I know it, I'm pulled back to the present. Standing here, alone. Dang. Hindsight. Doesn't look like my kind of indie, but... There's a market for everybody. Last Stop arrives on Nintendo Switch July 2021. That one Hindsight I'm interested in. Nintendo Switch later this year. On behalf of everyone here at Roll7, I'm stoked to announce our next title. Our new game is a vibrant action platformer taking you on a journey across Oof, the island of platformers. Brown, quest to meet the legendary skate gods. Skateboarding is a sport and an art form with so much space for creativity and expression. You know which game that never came out? That penguin game. Yeah, I remember there used to be supposed to be a penguin skateboarding game that I feel like Spawn Wave was so interested in. And of course, skating everything in sight. The team have put a lot of love into this project and we're really excited to share it with you. So without further ado, here's a look at Oli Oli World. Did he say Oli Oli World? The title in the Oli Oli series from Roll oh, he 7 did. is just off the rails. Tear oh, it looks like another runner. Land, except for on skateboards. On your quest Oof. for Nirvana in this slick action platformer, the developers have created a silky smooth gameplay experience. With super I mean, obviously you're not running, you're on a skateboard, but... There are so many tricks to master that even a legendary skater would tremble. There's no need to aim for precision all the time, though. Down for a more chilled out experience? Explore multiple paths through the game's levels. That's Along nice the way, that there are multiple paths. Characters, take on quirky side quests and discover all the hidden secrets. <laughs> side quests in a like runner kind of game? Utopia. Okay. Ride through Radland in Oli Oli World, launching on Nintendo Switch this winter. Okay. Hello, I'm Anselm Plüter from Studio Solz aus Deutschland. I'm not even gonna try to read this because they go fast. Ein alter König legte sich angeblich dort zur Ruhe und bat seinen Diener, ihn aufzuwecken, sobald die Zeit gekommen ist. Ich fand diese Geschichte so faszinierend, dass ich unbedingt ein Videospiel davon machen wollte, wo man 400 Tage lang auf dieses Erwachen warten muss. 400 days. Projekt, weil ich herausfinden wollte, wie man Zeit als Spielmechanik verwenden kann, um diese Geschichte zu erzählen. Ich hoffe, ihr werdet alle Spaß haben, jetzt The Longing auf der Nintendo Switch zu spielen. Play as a lonely servant. Is this a point and click? New task is to wait for 400 days. How will you pass the time Psst. with a switch? Bruh. 
books. This doesn't look interesting, I'm not gonna lie. It looks hella boring. I've never seen anything like it. And wow, 400 days in real time? Wait, what? You don't actually have to play this adventure game to see how it ends. But that doesn't mean you should leave this little guy all alone. This is a shade, the last servant of a king who once ruled an underground kingdom. Explore Wait, it's IRL 400 days? Time -based puzzles ...and collect items as you long for him to awaken. The longing comes to Nintendo Switch later hmm. today. Hmm. Didn't look interesting before. I like the concept, though. The next game? There is no game. Uh, all right, then? No, really. The game is actually called There Is No Game. It's a point-and-click comedy adventure filled with riddles and puzzles. There's a broader story here in this non-game as well. Let's not ruin the fun, though. Just know this. If you're looking for something different, something experimental that's full of surprises, then look no further. There is no game. Is that Christmas dimension. music in the background? <laughs> Later today. Okay, and uh, a, a drop. Hi, this is JF from Trivia Games. And I'm Cyril from the Dinner. Today we're very excited to announce Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Shredder's Revenge for Nintendo Switch system. This game is a side-scrolling beat 'em up. We took Ooh, I know a lot of people who would be excited for this. Time. We're using the classic and famous 87 design with colorful pixel art. We are really happy to have the game coming to Nintendo Switch as the platform and features fit the project perfectly. We hope you like this trailer as much as we do. See you in Dimension X. Is it a beat em up? Leonardo, Michelangelo. I wonder if they're gonna do Donatello less. <laughs> Raphael. My name is. My face is covering him. Um. I mean, I did want to get into beat 'em ups. I am playing, starting to play Scott Pilgrim. Maybe if I like it enough. Did we just flash back to the 80s? Even better, yeah, right. this is a new game that proudly celebrates its roots. The game is reminiscent of classic arcade beat-em-ups, and it's got a blend of retro and modern visuals. This I wonder if it's going to be online. Four favorite turtles as they kick some serious shell, dive into this bodacious game developed by Tribute Games and published by Dotemu, who also published Streets of Rage 4 and Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap. Cowabunga! Teenage Mutant Ooh, Wonder Boys: The Dragon Shop was really good. Comes to Nintendo Switch later this year. Later this year, okay. Chris Tales from Columbia Oh, I'm Developers, waiting for this one. Dreams Incorporated and Sick draws inspiration from classic and modern JRPGs. What especially stands out about it is the time traveling aspect of gameplay. You can shift time during combat, which can have a variety of effects, like making enemies younger and thus easier to defeat. While exploring this handcrafted dark fairy tale world, you'll recruit a diverse cast of allies and discover new realms such as the shining kingdom of Crystallis. Can you stop the Empress from destroying the world? Chris Tales lands on Nintendo Switch July 20th. I've been looking forward to this game, I'm not gonna lie. Showcasing a stylized Japanese aesthetic, Getsu Fumiden delivers a dynamic hack and slash roguelite experience filled with perilous mm. dungeons. So many roguelikes. An intense skill based combat. Delve into the depths of the underworld while mastering a diverse range of weapons and other you, roguelikes are probably not my genre. Dark forces dwelling within. Getsu Fumiden Undying Moon comes to Nintendo Switch next year. Hola, soy Guille de Lienzo, el estudio mexicano detrás de Aztec for God. Ooh, I can actually understand him. Super emocionados de compartir con ustedes por fin nuestro siguiente proyecto, un juego de acción aventura inspirada en una de las culturas más hermosas del planeta. Aztec for God Gods combina una historia profunda con un universo fascinante y lleno de acción. En Lienzo estamos muy orgullosos de poder compartir un poquito de México con jugadores en todo el mundo. Esperemos que les guste. I hope so too. 
I understood all of that. Yay! I didn't have to read it. The ass tags. Mm. Is this actual gameplay? I feel like we didn't actually see gameplay footage, just a lot of... For a grand adventure, look no further okay, here we than go. Aztec Forgotten Gods. It tells the story of Ashley, a courageous woman who battles colossal deities. The game puts Aztec mythology and futuristic technology front and center. As Ashley, you'll gain powerful arm upgrades, traverse different areas within a modern Mesoamerican metropolis, and encounter all sorts of characters to uncover ancient secrets. However, sometimes the truth is best left forgotten. Aztec Forgotten Gods soars onto the Nintendo Switch system fall. I don't think it's my kind of game, but it looks interesting. 안녕하세요. South Park Games 대표 박상우입니다. Skulder Hero Slayer is a Rogue Yosoka game and action platformer game. Another platformer, roguelike. Ugh. Game Gebel Dongari is a Tansi Hansida. Oril Jokto, action platformer game at Pazataraton, Kuman and Tongyander, Teakyo Dongari as a man, Timur Yoko, Yoro Shengcha Bukute, Skulder Wan Tongisida. Sesangu Guagi, Suman and Monstor, Maung Gutsiran, Yongsa Latin, Fantasy Kulisha to Chemichima, to Pandan or Tokayo. Is a good, Bulmere Chiakche Monstor. Okay, sorry, it takes me so long to read that. I like half I'm able to read that fast. <coughs> uh, I mean, it looks nice for what it is for an indie, but I'm like, mm, I'm, I'm done with this art style, I think, for the most part. Not my kind of game. Skull the Hero Slayer is a 2D fast action roguelike where you take on an entire army to rescue your king. And the best part? To progress in the game, you'll need to swap abilities, which is done by swapping heads. With nine heads? playable characters, I mean heads, each with their own special abilities, plus numerous items and upgrades, there are certainly enough possibilities here to make your head spin. So get a head. Literally, in Skull the Hero Slayer. Get ahead. <laughs> We're nearing the end of today's showcase. Before we go, there are several more indie games we'd like to show you. Please. These look. several or seven? I missed that. Oh, uh, this is probably also going to be music you guys don't get to hear. Yes. Yeah. What is this? House of the Dead remake? Oh, this one looks pretty. Still probably won't get it. Now this is the only one that I was like, oh, this was starting to look pretty. What is this though? Ready to start your next indie adventure on Nintendo yeah. Switch? Head on over to Nintendo eShop or Nintendo.com for our Indie World sale. Available later today. Woo! That's all for today's Indie World Showcase. We it wasn't bad. I think like the takeaways were probably um, the turtles one. I like the one that was story driven where um, you get to pick your own story. That one looks playable. 
amazing fans for tuning in. And this one, this one. Crystal Crisis. I am so looking for this. Twitter account at Indie World NA. Until next time, happy gaming. <gasps> they said happy gaming. Ha! Ah, they stole my line. Have one more game to show you. Oh, they have one more game. Wait, what do we got here? Say this is oxygen free too. I didn't play the first part. All right, I'm gonna say not a bad indie uh, presents. Um, like I said, turtles. That turtles one looked very interesting to me. Um, Crystal Crisis, obviously. I don't remember the name of the game, but the one with the story-driven root something. But those looked all interesting. Not a, not a bad indie presents, I don't think. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like indies, but I don't mind them if there's a good one. You know, we get some good bangers every now and again, and I am definitely looking forward to Crystal Crisis. All right, guys. <laughs> like the indie world said, happy gaming. Bye.